Hi, my name is Pablo, and today we're going to see how to migrate a Catalyst 9300 from an on-prem management solution to a fully cloud-managed solution in Meraki dashboard. This capability has been recently added, and it gives customers choice on how they want to manage their Catalyst 9300s. What we're going to do today is a complete migration from a Catalyst 9300 running in iOS XE and being managed by CLI to a Catalyst 9300 being fully managed in Meraki dashboard. So let's get started. First, we're going to access the switch via SSH. And then we will verify which iOS version this switch is running. Then we will verify that we have internet connectivity in order to reach Meraki dashboard. By typing service Meraki question mark, we can see the new commands that have been added to iOS XE in order to start the Meraki magic. Using the service Meraki register, the switch will be contacting the Meraki cloud to obtain a Meraki serial number. This serial number, we need to record it in order to use it later in the onboarding process. Typing the service Meraki start command will initiate the migration process. This will download all of the necessary software and reboot the unit. It's important to know that once the migration is completed, this unit will not be accessible any longer via CLI. As it will be a cloud managed Meraki device. All of the management will be done via dashboard. I'm going to be adding this device into an existing Meraki dash dashboard network that, as you can see in the topology, currently has a Catalyst 9200 running in monitor mode that is connected to this Catalyst 9300, but the topology does not show me a full view because it is not yet being added to dashboard. To add this device, we will go into inventory and we will claim this device using the serial number, the Meraki serial number that we recorded at the beginning. Once that has been included in our inventory, we can go ahead and add it into the Meraki network that we want to use for this device. We can see that this device has been added to the Meraki network correctly, alongside the Catalyst 9200 running in monitor mode. We will need to wait a few minutes until this device is online. This is because the switch is rebooting after being migrated and it is now trying to contact the Meraki cloud. As you can see, this device is now online and it can be managed as you would manage any other Meraki device. You can go inside the switch change the name and in here you will also appreciate how we have two serial numbers one catalyst serial number and one Meraki serial number now we can go into a port in this case it's a port connected to an access point and change the configuration on it in this on it in this case we're going to put VLANs 1 to 10 and we're going to get a port description relevant to what is connected in there if we go into the topology we can see that the topology has changed from before and that we have actually some alerts. First, we see that the Catalyst 9300 is giving me a power supply error. And also it's telling me that the trunk configuration connected to the Catalyst 9200 has a VLAN mismatch. So let's go ahead and fix these issues. First, I could actually go on into that Catalyst 9300 port, see the VLAN mismatch and edit the configuration right on the port. But let's do it the Meraki way. That is, the easy simple way by clicking on the alert I can actually go ahead and change the configuration in the alert hub as you can see now the VLANs are matching by going back into the topology page I can see that all of the alerts have been cleared first because I did fix the VLAN mismatch and second because I did plug in the power supply that was disconnected on the switch because this catalyst is now a fully managed Meraki device, I have all of the tools available, such as packet capture. As you can see, along other tools that can be very useful, such as cable testing or accessing what is the Mac forwarding table directly from the switch. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And let's go and migrate some catalysts into Meraki dashboard.